hello and welcome to the sql server video tutorial in this tutorial i'm going to show us how to use the group by statement that allows grouping rows that have the same values into a summary rows so let's get started in the previous video i demonstrated how we can download and restore adventure works 2019 database using the backup technique so i'm going to put a link in the description box below so that i can go through it if you have not seen how to do that so let's see our example now we're going to work with the same adventure works 2019 database and then i've written a simple select all statement from this schema name called sales dot sales order detail table so let's just run this query and click on execute so we can see the table now what we need from this entire table is just three columns we need the order id column the unit price and the line total columns so to do that i'm going to just come to the next line and just type in select and i need to give the name of the columns which are sales order id comma followed by the unit price unit price now it is not case sensitive that's no problem comma and then the line total okay total columns so from then i need to point to the schema name from sales dot sales order detail now let's see we can grab this line of query and click on execute okay now we have the three columns sales order id unit price and the line total now what we intend to do is simple if you go through this sales order id you can see that we have from here down to here we have the same sales order id okay which we're going to use in the group by clause okay and that will aggregate depending on the aggregate function we use for the unit price and the line total of course we can use the sum function the average the count and other aggregate function so we're going to see how to use the sum and the average aggregate function for the unit price and the line total respectively so to do that having done this i'm going to come to the next line and say group by now i want to group by what i want to group by the sales order id for instance i'm going to give i'm going to get the total for all these sales order id four three six five nine all through to row number 12 then from row number 13 which is four three double six zero two where it's terminates i'm going to get the aggregate for the unit price and the line total so back to the group by so i'm going to say group by sales order id now having done that if i click and execute this you know query it's going to give me an error prompt because i need to use the aggregate function around where we have numeric value columns such as the unit price and the line total respectively so i'm going to come here now for the unit price i can use the sum aggregate function so just type in sum open the parenthesis and then i close the unit price column and of course if i go ahead and click on execute i'm going to get an error because this line total column cannot stand alone so i need to use another aggregate function around it i can ask as well use the sum function or average or any other aggregate function now let's use avg simply means average then i close the line total column now when i go ahead and select and click on execute wonderful we have something meaningful you can see now for the sales order id four three six five nine the sum is one four three two three and then we have the decimals and then for the average we have one seven one three and the decimal places now you can see that we have no column name and no column name for this this is simply because we do not provide any alias now to factor in the alias so that this column can become readable and meaningful i come right after here and then type in as as now let me call this one 
total total for unit price and then for this i'm going to just use as as the alias i'm going to call this on avg or average average for line total now let's just you know break the line and click enter so that it can be more readable and meaningful now when i select this line of code and i click on execute we have something meaningful we have the name of the column which is the alias so this is one example of group by now let me scroll down and let's do something more a bit technical now i'm going to go ahead and execute this line of code sales dot sales person so execute now in here we have quite a number of columns now we want to deal with the columns that contains the sales quota and the sales ytd that is year to date and the sales last year now let's go ahead and get the three columns okay so i'm going to come to the next line and type in select i need a sales quota column comma followed by the sales ytd ytd comma and then the sales last year column respectively so let's just see from sales dot sales um sales person okay column now let's grab this and execute now we have the three columns the sales quota sales ytd and the sales last year now one thing that we can see from the sales quota here is that we have a null value okay and we actually want to knock off the null before we use the group by now to do that i'm going to just come to the next line and deploy the where clause i'm going to say where sales quota is not null okay all right so when i execute this for now you can see that the null has been taken care of and then we can go ahead and use the group by and then we want to group by the sales quota now if you look at the sales quota it is either three hundred thousand or two fifty thousand okay so we only have two values okay so i'm going to say group by sales quota okay and then we shouldn't forget to use our let me put in the semicolon here that's the standard practice okay we shouldn't forget to use our aggregate function now we can use the sum here and then we close off this and we can use the alias so let's call this one um total for sales sales ytd and then let's use um average here also and then i close the column and then we provide the alias i'm going to call this on average of um sales last year okay and then that's all we need to do okay we can see the statement again select sales quota column and then we also select the sales ytd column and we are aggregating that and we provided the alias and then we put in a comma and then for the sales last year we used the average aggregate function and we also provided the alias and then we provided the name of the schema from the table and then we used the where clause to knock off the null value and then we use the group by which is the sales quota now let's go ahead and execute okay when i click execute cool we can see the results it is either two fifty thousand or three hundred thousand and we have the total for the sales ytd and the average of sales last year group by. this is essentially how we can use the group by statement in sql server I hope you enjoyed this video if you do you can like comment share and subscribe to this channel thank you and bye for now cheers